Happy Mother's Day. A. Finkelstein, the King of Sports. I said it, write it, quote it, print it, and believe it. Here to bring you another episode of Things That Happened in the World of Sporting News last week. In case you were too busy, locked up, or just arguing with the mother of your children, these are things you might have missed. But before we get started, let's say hello to our new sponsor, newidcafe.myorganogold.com. It's a new coffee that's naturally sweetened, has a natural source of caffeination, and the bottom line is it'll wake your ass up. I drink it, and you should drink it too. That's newidcafe.myorganogold.com. Give them a try. All right, let's get right into it. But before we do that, you're listening to Nuff Said Global Radio. Will Floyd Mayweather come out of retirement and fight again against UFC competitor Conor McGregor? There are reports all over the internet. It seems as though one report has it that Conor McGregor has to lose 25 pounds and agree to a boxing-only match. Another report that says that they will fight and Floyd Mayweather will receive $144 million and Conor McGregor will receive $10 million. Talk about disparity there. Another report says that... um. Yeah, smoke 13, broccoli, and frosted foot. Uh, no, sorry, that's my grocery list. Uh, but, but anyway, uh, UFC president uh, Dana White says it's all a bunch of internet talk and it's a bunch of crap, and we can uh, we can believe Dana White. He promotes celebrity fights. And uh, But let me just say this about Floyd Mayweather coming out of retirement. You're 49-0, stay that way. The powers that be never want you to be 50-0 and, and break Rocky Marciano's record. And if you ever did break that record, trust me, you don't want to do that. You'll end up somewhere in an elevator with Percocets in your pocket. I'm sorry. Too soon? All right, let's keep going, moving right along. Uh, see, so Snoop Dogg and Levon, Levon Bell are going to agree to do a mixtape together. They're going to be rapping the injured Steelers, Pittsburgh Steelers running back, and uh, Snoop Dogg uh, agree to get together and do a mixtape. No word on the name of it. You know, uh, Levon Bell is also known as the Juice for his OJ-like moves, and you know Snoop is all about the smoke, so uh, I don't know if it's going to be called the, the Smoke, the Balls, and the Juice, or the, the Juice Father, the Balls Father, or whether I have a name, though. How about, how about nobody cares, okay? Because nobody's checking for a Snoop Dogg take anymore, all right? Uh, these kids today know you for fighting with Iggy Azalea and bitching about your son not getting the proper playing time, all right? But nobody oh, cares, all right? Man, that's cold, eh? Moving right along, uh, Sacramento Kings player DeMarcus Cousins and his brother were at a Tampa Bay nightclub. Uh, Jaleel Cousins got into a fight and he got tasered by the police. He got tasered long and hard and he's very hurt and groggery. But we have him on the phone right now and uh, folks bear with him. He's very still under the effects of the taser. But uh, uh, Jalil, uh, how's it going and how do you feel? Uh, 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 Jalil, uh, uh, Jalil, uh, 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 oh God! Oh. I did when you him came with. All right, that's gonna be all the time I have. I'm Abe Finkelstein, the king of sports. I said it, write it, quote it, couldn't believe it. Now let's get back to more music and more talk on Nuffstag Global Radio. <laughs> 